and welcome to another episode of I Am. My name is Hayden Ali and I am the producer and the host for the show. And this week we are spotlighting Harrison Bowden, who is a senior ceramics major here at Northwest. So how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good. Hey, thanks for agreeing to be on the show. Yeah, no problem. Hey, I'm looking forward to our conversation. Yeah, me too. Thanks for having me. Cool. So you're a ceramics major here at Northwest. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me just a little bit more of how you got into the arts and maybe where that passion came from? Yeah. So um, I, in high school, competed in FBLA, what they call it. So it's Future Business Leaders of America. Um, and I actually did graphic design in that program. Um, so I came to Northwest with the intentions of being a graphic design major. And I uh, had to take the core requirement of ceramics for the art degree. It's just like part of our department's requirements. Okay. And the teacher was just really engaging and I found it fascinating. And so I went on a limb and switched my major to it and four years later, <laughs> still in it. Okay, awesome. So this was not really your, your initial plan then from coming to Northwest. Yeah, not really, but just through the engagement of professors really is the way that I got into it. It's kind of weird, my, my family is all farmers, so I come from a farm and a farm family, so oh. working with dirt. So in a way, this is like my opportunity to work with dirt in an abstract kind of way. Very interesting, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's very interesting, I like that. So then what kind of got you into the ceramics world then? Uh, just through professors, you take a class? Um, yeah, so we took our, uh, what we have to take is an intro to ceramics class, which is just like the foundations of ceramics, learning how it works, things like that. Um, and it's just a really hard thing to try to understand. And one semester is not enough to get everything that you want out of it. And so it was just that desire to keep learning and keep trying to figure it out. And in my fourth year of doing it, and there's still some times that I'm like, I wonder if I'll ever get all of this down. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. So could you just break down for me kind of bare bones ceramics, what all it involves, kind of the process of it? Yeah, so I like to kind of explain it in a way of baking. It's like an easy way for people to understand. It's like, okay. so you have your clay and it's just like particulate matter taken from the earth and then just a combination of things within a recipe. Um, so that's what you make your clay out of. There's a bunch of different types of clay bodies that you can use that will give you certain results that you want. Um, so that's okay. one of the hard parts to figure out what you want and how to achieve what you want with sure. the material. Yeah. 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 Um, so you basically just start with like a, a wet clay body, whichever one you choose, um, and then you make it however you want. There's a variety of methods. I personally slip cast. And that's kind of what they do in a commercial setting. So the mugs that you can buy in like Walmart, things like that, they're all slip cast and mass produced. Um, but I do slip casting on a small production level. So I make my own casts and then produce all the art that I make through that way. Um, okay. But a lot of people will wheel throw or they'll hand build, things like that. Um, and then you have to fire it, glaze it, and then fire it again. And then you have whatever you want. Awesome. It's pretty much up to the imagination. Yeah, that's that's really interesting. I've never really understood how just even like a coffee mug <laughs> yeah. is made, you know. So I guess that, that makes more sense. Yeah, there's a great deal of work that goes into it. People don't really think about the like the start to finish. It takes, you know, sometimes you can think something out and get it done within a week, and sometimes it'll take a month just yeah. based on trial and error because things don't always go how you want them to in ceramics. Sure. Yeah, yeah. trial and error. As a media student, I kind of under, understand that. There's yeah. a lot of trial and error <laughs> sometimes with what we do. So I can see that. So give me like an average an average project timeline for you then. I know you just said it kind of it kind of yeah. varies, but just like you have a man, I really want to make something and just from start to finish. Start to finish day. for me, I I spend a lot of time down here <laughs> by myself with earbuds in, just doing what I need to do to get things done. Um, so usually from like first thought of what I'm going to make to the fruition of the project is like maybe a week and a half usually getting it through the kilns and that's like that's at a fast pace um, getting it through okay um but anything regular I usually try to like make and then come back to it in like a month just with fresh eyes see if I need to change anything see how it works so is there like a dream project you have, something that like maybe you've always just really wanted to tackle but you never had the time or maybe the resources to do so? It's funny that you asked that. Actually last night we went to an art exhibit opening in Overland Park, Kansas. You see all these like really amazing career artists and you're like, wow, I wonder if I'll ever get to that. And just thinking about the projects that might get you to where you want to be and like 
all the work that it's going to take you to get there. So something that I'm currently working on for graduate school that seems like impossible to do is I'm filling a wheelbarrow with a ton of high heels, basically. And I've estimated I need about 200 to 300 high heels to fill this with. That you make yourself? Yep, that I make myself. And I currently only have one mold to make all of those. Um, you can only cast one a day, so that's like 200 days, which isn't, wow. <laughs> isn't time effective. So I have to make probably around 10 other molds to go along with it and just put them all in at the same time. And then eventually it'll come out how I want it to. But yeah, a lot of nights of hard work, basically. Yeah, it seems like quite a challenge. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that. Yeah. And thanks for being on the show. This thanks for having me. It's absolutely. very nice. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's another episode of, of I Am. And thanks for watching this week. And be sure to tune in next week for another episode. We'll see you later. Thank you.